Now we want to just learn basically, uh, um, you know, what leads uh, a person to become a monster. Behind me is the spot, the Civic Hospital Ambulance Bay, where Kevin Gregson stabbed Constable Eric Chapter to death on December 29th, 2009. Four paramedics testified at Gregson's first-degree murder trial that they found Gregson attacking Chapnik. Risking their own lives, one paramedic grabbed Gregson in a bear hug, while the others disarmed him, and one called to Chapnik to run for help into the emergency room. Surveillance video for the hospital shows the last minutes of Eric Chapnik's life as he ran into the hospital looking for medical help. An emergency room doctor testified that he fought for an hour to save Chapnik's life, even as the constable lost his entire blood volume twice over, and there was less than a 5% chance for survival. Later in the surveillance video, we see Kevin Gregson being led into the emergency room by police. In a terrible twist, the same doctor who tried and failed to save Chapnik's life had to treat Gregson for minor self-inflicted wounds to his own neck. It's never been an issue at Gregson's first-degree murder trial that he stabbed Chapnik. That was admitted. What was at issue is why he did it. In a rambling three-hour interview with Detective Tim Hodgins, Gregson argued that all he wanted to do was get Chapnik's guns so he could kill himself, finishing the job he'd been unable to do with his knife. Yeah, I tried to commit suicide, and it didn't work. And I'm trained to, to take life. That's my specialization. Gregson said hours after the killing that the fact that he just wanted Chapnik's gun would be his defense. And because I cut my throat and it didn't work, I needed a gun so I could blow my brains out. And I need, the only people who have guns are police officers. And so I went down to the hospital because the hospitals always have policemen there. He stuck to that story on the witness stand. He also said that the Mental Health Act would be his defense, although there was no psychiatric testimony ever presented at his trial. In some of the only moments in the videotaped interview when he's not talking about himself, Gregson asks about the officer that he killed. How old is he? He's 49 years old. Yeah. 51, sorry. He's 51, 51 years old. Just shy of retirement. Damn. No, actually, no. He just joined the Ottawa police. Oh, really? Gregson, at the end of the interview, looks up at the camera and speaks to Chapnik's family. Sorry about your dad. That's it? That strong, tight-knit family was in court every day of the trial, hearing evidence that was often disturbing and seeing graphic pictures. Chapnik's widow, Anna Kortowska, said she simply wanted to know everything that happened to her husband. One thing that I know for sure, um, it's quite emotional, but uh, I know that Eric was sur surrounded by amazing people in the last moments of his life, and uh, people who tried to save him, people who tried to save his life, and now people who are trying to bring justice. Chapnik's son, Lucas Galaskas, said he understands why the case has riveted the city and why people around the world are following it online and on Twitter. I think it speaks to the human emotion. I think this story speaks to the um, human willpower to want to help, want to live, want to better, better each other, and as well the tight-knit community that can be and could be and almost was. Megan Gillis, Sun Media.